Hi everyone, welcome to another year of Markham Reads. Markham Reads celebrates one book that we voted on as a community, and every year the City of Markham comes together to read that book as part of the biggest citywide library program we have. It's a great way to connect as a city and meet new friends. As a celebration of books and ideas, uh, we know that it's really important to you to vote for the book that you want to read on, and you voted, and we are thrilled to announce that the winner of this year's Markham Reads is Firekeeper's Daughter by Angeline Bully, a groundbreaking YA thriller about a native teen who must root out the corruption in her community. I'll tell you a little bit about the book and the author. Angeline Bully, an enrolled member of the Sault Ste. Marie tribe of Chippewa Indians, is a storyteller who writes about her Ojibwe community in Michigan's Upper Peninsula. She is a former director of the Office of Indian Education at the U.S. Department of Education. Angeline lives in southwest Michigan, but her home will always be on Sugar Island. Firekeeper's Daughter is her debut novel. And now for a little bit about the book. Uh, I cannot wait for you to get to know this amazing narrator. As a biracial, unenrolled tribal member and the product of a scandal, 18-year-old Donna Fontaine has never quite fit in, both in her hometown and on the nearby Ojibwe reservation. Donna dreams of studying medicine, but when her family is struck by tragedy, she puts her future on hold to care for her fragile mother. The only bright spot is meeting Jamie, the charming new recruit on her brother's hockey team. Yet even as Donna falls for Jamie, certain details don't add up and she senses the dashing hockey star is hiding something. Everything comes to light when Donna witnesses a shocking murder, thrusting her into the heart of a criminal investigation. Reluctantly, Donna agrees to go undercover but secretly pursues her own investigation, tracking down the criminals with her knowledge of chemistry and traditional medicine. But these deceptions and deaths keep piling up and soon the threat strikes too close to home. Now Donis must learn what it means to be a strong Anishinaabe Kwe, or Ojibwe woman, and how far she'll go to protect her community, even if it tears apart the only world she's ever known. Now I cannot wait for you to join us this summer as we host programs celebrating this amazing title. Sign up on our website for exciting lectures, art demonstrations, and book club discussions. We can't wait to see you out there. Happy reading.